So far, every function that we have seen is of this form, return some expression. So on any input, the same formula is used to produce the answer. Now here is our first function where that is not true. The answer depends on some property of the input. So let's take a look at this function. Um, it's actually quite readable just in English. I'm sure if you just read it like it was English, you could probably figure out exactly what it does. But there are, of course, some things that we can immediately recognize. First of all, this function clearly takes an integer, uh, x, and it returns an integer. Now, what does it do? Uh, as you can see on line 2, the first thing it checks is, is that integer x less than 0? Is it negative? So if x is negative, we're going to return minus x, negative of x. And otherwise, else, as written on line 4, else, we'll just return x itself. So if we were to try and write this mathematically, we would probably write uh, something like this. f of x is minus x if x is negative, and x otherwise. So both these are easy to read, both the code on the left and the maths on the right. Now, I'm sure you can recognize this function. Uh, this is a very familiar function to you, I'm sure. This is the absolute value function. So f of x is absolute value of x. So that's easy enough. Now, it may not surprise you that once again, there is a difference between C and mathematics. So uh, although this statement is obviously true that for any integer x, f of x is greater than or equal to zero, uh, you may find that that's not true for C. So here is a link uh, where you can do an experiment and confirm this. You can find an x for which f of x is not greater than or equal to zero, meaning an x for which f of x is negative. So try this out. Um, it's an interesting exercise, but it is similar to other exercises that we have seen. So wh while I'd like you to try this, I'd also like you to try a different version of this absolute value function. So this is buggy abs. Um, again, it takes an int x and it returns an int. But notice what we have on line 1. We have included, there is this symbol hash include, uh, and then in angled uh, brackets, which is basically the less than and greater than symbols on your keyboard, uh, we have included a file called math.h. And anytime you see this kind of a statement, hash include some uh, file name, uh, in these angled brackets, it means that this is one of the files that comes predefined with uh, C. So math.h turns out to be a collection of very useful functions and constants like pi and so on, uh, which we typically use in mathematics calculations. Now, the reason I have included math.h is on line 4, you see that I am returning some function sqrt. The name suggests that that is square root. Uh, so this sqrt function is predefined in math.h and I don't have to uh, write its code. But if I want to create the absolute value function, then I'm using this simple mathematical property that the absolute value of any given integer x is just the square root of x square. So I'm appealing to, I'm calling the uh, built-in sqrt function uh, to uh, compute the square root and I'm just giving it uh, the argument x times x which is x square. So it turns out that this function uh, again, it works for some things, uh, but it doesn't work for uh, certain uh, inputs that the previous function that we wrote uh, was working on. So I want you to, again, try experimenting with this. 
And once again, we will see something interesting about why this particular uh, function fails. So we've introduced both these if-else statements, which are called conditional statements, and we have introduced this idea of um, including files that are predefined and using functions such as SQRT, which are built in to the C programming environment. Whenever possible, we should use such functions if they suit our purpose. Here, I am giving an example where if your purpose was to compute absolute value, then this is a bad way of doing it. It turns out there is a uh, built-in function called ABS, uh, which does exactly what we want anyway. But I'm just using this as an interesting example to show you a particular feature of uh, computing, which we will discuss in the next video.